Greetings. I hope you're well. I wanted to give you an update on the possibility of in-person worship. There's been a lot of conversation since Governor Bashir announced that houses of worship could open again beginning May the 20th. Our staff has met and put together a tentative plan for what that might look like. Also, I've met with a group of lays, uh, lay people in the life of the church and shared that with them, heard their feedback, got their suggestions. I'm meeting with a group of uh, large church pastors uh, today. Today is Thursday as we're recording this. We're also, uh, we'll be meeting with some medical professionals tonight to get their input. And then I have had conversations with other pastors here in the Middletown area. And then finally, uh, we're waiting on conversations from our bishop, if there's any guidance from him, and there should be something coming from him today. Also, uh, we're waiting to see if there are any other guidelines that comes from the state. So as yet, uh, there's not been any firm decisions made. But let me assure you that when decisions are made, that our top priority will be your safety. What we would all like to do is to go back to worship the way it was on March the 8th. But unfortunately, that will certainly not be the case whenever we decide to return to in-person worship. In my 36 years of ministry, I have never gone more than two weeks in a row uh, being away from the congregation that I pastored. So there is no one more frustrated with this current situation nor more anxious to get back to worship uh, in person with all of you. My responsibility to lead this congregation includes keeping everyone safe. There are all kinds of messages swirling around about this virus. Everything from it's a hoax or if it's real, it's not a big deal to the other end of the spectrum that it's the most dangerous thing our world has ever faced. There are those who believe that, that we should open up immediately and be back to normal. There are others who believe that we should wait much, much longer before we open up. And there's plenty of propaganda pushing every opinion. But the bottom line is people are getting sick and people are dying. And if I err, I will err on the side of protecting your health. The one thing that is for certain is when we do open up to in-person worship, people will not agree with that decision. Some will believe that we waited too long while others will believe that we have not waited long enough. But regardless of when we begin in-person worship, we'll continue to stream our worship services live on Facebook and have them recorded on YouTube. Based on the discussions that we've had at this point, we will not begin in-person worship before June the 7th. And depending on what happens in the next three weeks, that, di that date may change as well. We will have in-person worship as soon as we feel like it's safe uh, for everyone. And we ask your prayers as we continue to discern what actions to take and how to proceed as we do open up the church again. You will receive these kinds of updates on decisions that we've made as, as decisions are made. We want you to stay in the loop uh, as to what's going on and to how we're progressing. Until we are back in worship, Sunday school, studies, I encourage you to participate in the, the wide variety of online options that we have. There, there are live Zoom gatherings, Sunday school classes, Bible studies, those kinds of things. There's also uh, recorded options on our YouTube channel. And you can find information about all of these on our website, which is Middletown UMC. Dot org, or they're also posted each week on the Friday e-blast. And I just want to again take an opportunity to thank our staff. Uh, they're working very hard and very creatively. The work that they're doing now during this time is much more difficult than normal because it takes a lot more effort uh, than to do something that you've always known how to do and to begin to learn how to do something different in a different way and to make that meaningful requires a lot of work and your staff is working really, really hard at that and I just want to say thanks to the staff and for what they're doing. And again, 
I want to thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness and your generosity as we continue to support our church. Your gifts make a difference. We could not do this work without you. Your continued faithfulness is an expression of your worship to God. It's an expression of your love for God and your love for the church. And we thank you for your generosity as you continue to give. And again, I want to remind you that your staff is here for you. You can call us, contact us at any time if, if you need to talk to someone. If you have questions, do not hesitate uh, to reach out to one of us. Would you pray with me today? God, today, again, we, we just give you thanks for your presence in our life, for the strength and the power that you give us to live in these difficult days. And Lord, we ask for patience and for endurance as we make it through these days and can get back to some sense of normalcy. And Lord, we do pray for those who have been so affected by this virus. We pray for those who are grieving the death of family and friends. We pray for those who are affected and seeking treatment and needing healing. We pray for those on the front lines of the work that must be done today. And God, we ask that you be with them, protect them, and watch over them. And Lord, we will continue to serve you in creative and new ways. We will do all that we can to reach your people with your love. And we pray your blessings in the name of Christ. Amen.